Today I ask the question, does the presence of ponies somehow alter nature? In the first episode of the series, we see that Princess Equestria and her sister are responsible for day and night occurring at the correct times. In many episodes, we see that some Pegasus ponies are responsible for monitoring and controlling the weather. In Winter Wrap-Up, we find out the ponies are responsible for manually ending winter. They have to break the ice on the lake, wake up animals from hibernation, retrieve birds that have flown south, and make nests for those birds. In Full Weather Friends, we also see that the ponies' thundering hooves are necessary for making the leaves fall off the trees in autumn. Why, uh, yes, Pinky. It's the running of the ponies that causes the leaves to fall. Ugh. Ugh. Lazy. Lazy. So how do ecosystems function when ponies aren't around to control them? Well, in Bridal Gossip, the ponies reveal that everything in the Everfree Forest functions without pony input at all. The Everfree Forest just ain't natural. The plants grow, animals care for themselves, and the clouds move all on their own. So, is the forest the only place in Equestria this happens? If not, why don't the ponies just relocate their towns to areas where natural systems occur by themselves, thereby saving themselves a lot of work? Or is it the very presence of a pony society that stops weather and seasons and makes other animals completely dumb? Leave a comment and remember, friendship is magic!